week's episode is being brought to you by Nixall Wound and Skin Care Solution. Now, I love bringing you interesting stories, and this is one you're not going to want to miss. Two women decided to ride the 21 missions in California. They started north of San Francisco, and they're riding down to the Mexican coast. They're filming a documentary about their ride, and we're going to get a sneak peek. This crazy idea happened how? Well, I was um, visiting my friend from my teenage year friend, uh, uh, Gwyneth Horder Payton, in Hollywood, and she proposed going on a horseback ride. And um, we just had this fantastic ride in the foothills of the San Gabriel Mountains at the end of the day. It, it didn't last very long, but it was. Um, it was supercharged with uh, being aware of the landscape and the history and all the infrastructure and we realized that Mission San Fernando was just over our shoulders and that a lot of the things we were seeing in the valley there in Santa Clarita Valley were related to that. Yes. And so we just, um, we were sitting there on top of some, you know, mountaintop looking at all this stuff and I think I blurted out, you know, wouldn't it be cool to ride horseback from Mission to Mission <laughs> and, and see what happened. And then she said, uh, yeah, but it's impossible. Um, we can't do it. And then, and then a few months later, she she called back and said, um, "Hey, um, have you been kept up at night by that idea of riding horseback from mission to mission?" And I said, "No. You said it was impossible, <laughs> and that's the end of the story." She said, "She said it's been really nagging at me. I think it could be possible." So I took her up there, and she was empowered, I think, by this, you know, this rush of, of pure just. Um, coming from the, for the, the speed and con, uh, connecting to the animal and, and the beauty of it that she's blurted out. Um, I have a great idea, let's ri ride the mission trail. And I said, Leslie, mission trail, what, that's 101, that's yeah. El Camino Real is 101. She knows that, of course, she grew up in <laughs> California and I didn't. Um, anyway, the, the idea was so bold that I just said, okay, let's do that. Hard for me to find one word to describe the effort that was involved. I don't think we had any idea when we started out sort of naively like, oh, we'll just ride our horses from mission to mission. How much it would involve in terms of, you know, we're crossing, for example, urban spaces. We rode right into San Francisco. Um, we're crossing rural areas of redwood forests, military uh, uh, camps. Uh, we're crossing parklands that are state parklands and national parks. It's just everything, every type of property. And every kind, it involves a different sort of relationship with uh, whoever the property is attached to. So um, that's been a real lesson, a really a huge learning curve. And then just mm -hmm. dealing with the crew and the food and the horses and their safety and the mm -hmm. shoes and all of that. Yeah. yeah. It's easier for a human to, fo to fool another human, but you can't fool a horse. Yes. For example, we have a Morgan, as I know. We have some horses that have some thoroughbred. We have a Mustang uh, mare that lives in Texas and uh, is uh, under the care of the other wrangler. Mm -hmm. And just to name a few, and we have a Spanish colonial stallion, oh. which is the horse that also um, was ridden and bred at the time of the missions. Right, I mean, I'm sure you'd started training them before you started. Uh, yes, uh, well, you want some endurance you, for, the, for, the, you know, for the mileage that is put on the horses, and also you're gonna, you want to get the horses used to different situations, cars, noises, uh, flying objects in case something on the road flies, or uh, birds flying, uh, bicyclists, uh, motorcycles, you know, anything that you can think that you're going to encounter in the ditches, crossing water, mm -hmm. you know, swimming. A little bit of everything. Flying, no, that's, that's, not, that's not flying. But <laughs> anyway, wish, we might maybe. get to that, but anyway. Uh, uh, but uh, just, just to foresee, you yes. know, what is going to happen. You can foresee everything, you know, somebody might show up and you might be running and somebody is just happened to be uh, a birthday party and is dressed in a Superman costume, you know? <laughs> I didn't prepare my horse for that, you know? <laughs> Gotta deal with it, you know? Yeah. But for the most part, just getting used to, to what's, uh, what uh, is gonna be in front of the horse at, at every moment. Here at this yeah. mission, La Purissima, um, we got to spend the night in the mission, camping in the mission, and this beautiful moonlight was there and we heard the birds in the morning and 
and then the the docents of this mission, the prelado, they came all dressed in their co period costumes, mm -hmm. and it was really the f the feeling of the missions being alive was so powerful, and they're they're so hospitable to us. And when we rode up and horseback in the missions, almost all missions, we had this a sort of a a feeling of of tremendous excitement because the people. Um, are seeing, you know, someone is arriving in the way that they would have during that That's time. Right. The missions have been extraordinarily hospitable, and I think it's because if you go far back in time, they have at their at their roots this idea of hospitality and of welcoming travelers and strangers, and the excitement of welcoming people who got to the mission after a long effort. Well, so I'm so happy to talk to you now. Do you have a website? We do. It's called the California Mission Ride dot org, and we have a, a trail blog there with interviews with people and we also have a great Facebook page that people can get um, updates. In fact, I think we send in some pictures first thing in the morning of people waking up in the campsites and they can practically live the whole journey with us on Facebook. That's great. Good. Thank you so much, Leslie. It's Thank you. Fun talking Thank you, to you. Great to talk to you too.